If your 300, 400, or 500 series hydrant drips continually after turning the handle to the off position, you most likely need to replace the O-rings and washers on the stem of your hydrant. All wearable parts for the 300, 400, and 500 series Mansfield hydrants are included in the Wall Hydrant Repair Kit, part number 630-7755. Before replacing any parts on the stem of your hydrant, be sure to turn off your interior water source. To access the stem, you will need to remove the handle on your hydrant. To do this, unthread the screw in the center of the handle. A screwdriver or nut driver will be necessary to accomplish this. Pull the handle towards your body and set the handle and screw aside. Once the handle is removed, you should see a white or tan plastic packing nut threaded into the hydrant. This should also be removed to access your stem. Your packing nut may be right hand threaded or left hand threaded. A left hand threaded nut will indicate this with the letter L, or with arrows pointing left to tighten and print it on the edge of the packing nut. Left hand threaded packing nuts can be removed by turning to the right. If there is no indication that the packing nut is left hand threaded, you can assume that it is right hand threaded. Right hand threaded packing nuts can be removed by turning to the left. Unthread your packing nut accordingly and set it aside. Once the packing nut is removed, you will be able to see the copper into the stem sticking out of your hydrant. The stem can be removed from the hydrant simply by placing the handle onto the copper end of the stem and twisting counterclockwise, and then pulling the stem out toward your body. Pryor recommends replacing all of the wearable parts on your hydrant to correct your issue. Begin by removing the old graphite packing and packing washer and replacing them with the corresponding new packing washer and graphite packing. There are two different graphite packing pieces in the repair kit. If you have a left hand threaded packing nut, you should use the graphite packing with the larger diameter. If you have a right handed packing nut, you should use the graphite packing with the smaller diameter. Note that the old graphite packing for the right hand threaded packing nut will have a concave shape, whereas the new packing will be flat. This is normal. Your new packing will mold to the same concave shape once the repair is complete. Place the new packing washer and graphite packing onto your stem, applying the washer first, followed by the graphite packing. Next, you should replace the parts on the stem end by removing the bib screw and any washers. If you have a small o-ring on the stem end of your hydrant, you should remove this as well. This can be maneuvered easily with a small piece of wire or even a paper clip. Next, you should find the new parts in the repair kit that match your old parts and begin assembling the stem end with these new parts. For a 400 or 500 series hydrant, begin with the O-ring, followed by the BFP washer, cage washer, bib washer, and finally the bib screw. Make sure that the screw is threaded in tightly and that the stem end pops in and out easily. Once all the parts have been replaced, you can reassemble your hydrant, inserting the stem first and threading it into place. Next, thread in the packing nut. Tighten your packing nut until it is snug and then turn one eighth of an inch more. Finally, replace the handle and screw and thread the screw in tightly. You may now turn your interior water source back on. Your hydrant should function properly after this repair and should stop dripping within 60 seconds of turning the handle to the off position. If your hydrant is still dripping after shutoff, you may need to replace your stem. Visit www.prior.com backslash where to buy for a list of prior products distributors.